today's video, we're going to figure out how much energy is required to keep my solar shed at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, even though it's a 90 degree Fahrenheit day. And I insulated all of the walls, but I did not insulate the roof. And I'm not sure if I really need to, because in the last week or so with 80 to 90 degree days, it's only used like five kilowatt hours for a whole week. So I might be good just leaving it as is. We're just gonna use a kilowatt meter for the AC output consumption, and then we're gonna add the inverter efficiency second. So I'm gonna reset this meter and then come back in 24 hours. All right guys, 24 hour update. We're at 2.78 kilowatt hours. Now the next test is a 100 degree day. So I'm gonna come back in a week or so and we'll test it out. So today's test, it's gonna be over 100 degrees. It should be 101. So we're gonna see how much power this thing consumes. But we're gonna set the air conditioner to 80 degrees Fahrenheit because that's the max that I wanna see, even if it's like 120 degrees. I wanna keep these batteries at least below 80 degrees Fahrenheit. All right guys, it's been 24 hours and we used 3.65 kilowatt hours, which is really good. It's still under the amount that this system produces a day of 4.8 kilowatt hours. So we're doing pretty good. That was a 101 degree day. So it's successful so far. I also realized if we need more power and I do not have room for more solar panels because I don't want to litter my backyard with solar panels, we could just put a solar specific automatic transfer switch right here and power it off of my main grid tie system. So that would be a cool option as well. It would be very easy to wire up. So fast forward 24 hours later and yesterday was another 100 degree day. And we're at 6.68 kilowatt hours. So it's around the same as the day before. So we're doing pretty good. Now it's a little bit dark in here because I closed the door, but you can see that there's air escaping through this door. So I need to insulate it or use weather strip to seal it. And we're gonna use rubber window seal to do it and see if it makes a difference. All right, let's see if it actually works. Oh, look at that, you guys. And it's a lot harder to close this door, and there's still a little bit of light coming through. So over here, it blocked it all off, but in this little tiny corner, so we're gonna fill this in on the other side. We're gonna seal this part of the door. I also bought thinner weather stripping for this purpose. Dang it, I cannot seal off that last little bit. Okay, now it is sealed. It is as dark as I can get it. Now we're gonna check if this corner is sealed. Oh, look at that, there's light coming through. So this piece of wood is misshapen, so it's not flush and flat, so we need to fill this in as well. Okay, now we're getting really good. It is super dark in here. So now I sealed the bottom of the door and let's see if it works. Okay, we have some light coming in on the right in the left corner, but the whole door looks pretty sealed. So we need to seal this little gap right here. Okay, now it's actually sealed. There is no light coming in. And there is light coming in up there, but I actually sealed that out with translucent silicone. So that's good to go, actually. So now the entire shed is insulated, except for this door. And this concerns me because this is not insulated at all. And if you feel it on a hot day, I bet it's going to get pretty hot. So after living in RVs for nine years, I'm going to actually cover this up with a blanket and it will be good to go. Look at that, that actually looks really nice. I'm surprised. I didn't think it was gonna look this good. That's really cool. And I think this is gonna make a big difference because already the moment I put this up, it feels cooler in here because the work the air conditioner is doing is staying inside, so it's nice. I could always remove the screws on this side and push this out of the way if I have something really big that needs to go in and out. But this makes a huge difference. It is really cold inside. Now we're gonna test if that blanket makes any difference at all. We're gonna do another energy audit and this is not technically the most accurate way of assessing the energy needs, especially because I can't control the temperature over a 24 hour period. And it can fluctuate quite a bit at night as well. So we're just gonna hook it up and see if it does make a difference compared to our average of the last two 100 degree days. So yeah, let's hook it up and see what happens. So we're gonna come back in 24 hours and see if there's a big difference or not. But when you're in here and you feel the walls, this blanket is making a huge difference. And the roof feels really cool anyways because it's covered by solar panels and all of the air holes are sealed. So I think it should be good now. But yeah, let's come back in 24 hours and see what the consumption's like. 
All right, guys, it's been 24 hours. Let's see, 2.14 kilowatt hours. But to be fair, yesterday it was 98 degrees Fahrenheit, not 100 and 101 like the days before. But still, it was super hot all day long, and we only used two kilowatt hours practically. So that's a huge improvement just by insulating this door. So instead of insulating it more, I'm actually gonna leave it as it is and do further energy audits as the temperature increases. Because right now it's still early summer and it's still getting cold at night. But during summer, it will be like 100 degrees at one o'clock in the morning. So I'm probably gonna have to insulate the roof a bit more and even the floor, put like a very thick, heavy carpet on the floor and then insulate all around this air conditioner and I think it should be good to go. But yeah, we have 4.8 kilowatt hours available every day and it only takes two kilowatt hours to keep it at 80 degrees. It would probably use around 2.5 if I decrease this to 75 degrees, but I don't really need that. 80 degrees is plenty, especially for performance with this chemistry. But stay tuned, in a couple months we're going to do another update video and I might have to modify this system a bit more. But for now it's working really nicely. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.